When drilling into relatively massive metal, it is advisable to use plenty of oil on the drill bit and to take it slow, as otherwise the drill bit might break. That's it, 3mm thread complete. Hello there YouTubers, here is a bit of an update on the JLH Class A amplifier that I'm building. Well, I did make some progress, so let's take a look. So you can see we do have the two driver boards all completed and working. And in the background, you probably already see, this is what's going to become the housing of it all. This, in case you uh, remember, was the housing of the CNC mystery device that I once found at the dump. Well, finally, I uh, think I found a good purpose for this housing. Put something into there, something special. So, I already got the Tororio power supply mounted in there, and um, also I got the two heat sinks in there. This is the one we've already seen. This is the one that uh, really was a whole lot of work to uh, prepare, because I actually had to cut off a centimeter all along the top. That really was quite a bit of a job, I can tell you. But now it's all in there, it does fit, and I do have the two N3055 transistors all mounted. As you can see, I uh, wrote the HFE factor up onto there, 18 and 23, and uh, with those you can still read them on the transistors themselves. Uh, other than that, I did a whole lot of drilling in this housing. Uh, we uh, flip this out you can see lots and lots of holes for everything of course uh, the driver boards are going to go into the center in between the two one is going to go in like that so that all the transistor related connections are on this side and uh, I'm getting very short connections to the uh, feed sink and uh, well, consequently, the other board is going to in, going to go in this way. Once again, just a short distance to the transistors. This right there is a bit of an imperfection. It is a ventilator fan. Ugh. Usually, I really don't want to have that in any audio equipment, but um, of course. This thing being a Class A amplifier, it is going to run very, very hot, and uh, the top cover doesn't have a whole lot of um, vents in it, so since I don't want to have any heat building up in there anywhere, causing hot spots, and you know, then of course uh, causing things to break, I'm going to build in a ventilator fan to uh, keep, uh, keep the air moving in there. Uh, I am going to run that, th it is of course a 12 volt ventilator fan, I am going to run it on 6 volts, so hopefully it won't be all that noisy. 
So that's going to be another board that I'll have to build. A um, little relay control, little speaker protection, along with a 12 volt stabilized power supply for that. And then, of course, I'm going to add a um, little voltage divider to that to get my 6 volts out of it. Other than that, um, you can see we have a power switch up front. Not sure what I'm going to do here. Uh, I was thinking about putting in a volume control, just in case, but um, of course that would mean to uh, run the wires all the way from, uh, from the back, from right there to over here, and then back into the drivers. So maybe I'm just going to connect it uh, directly and uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to put in a little switch to turn off the speakers. Of course I can just uh, very simply do that um, with the uh, speaker control circuit, a little relay. Just turn off the relay and that's it. If we turn this thing around, get a look at the back. Do of course still have all the uh, original holes. Of course uh, we'll be putting in an IEC socket right there. Fuse is already there. There are the speaker outputs. Just some banana plugs. That's uh, I guess that's the most versatile thing. And then right there is where the RCA jacks, input jacks, are going to go. There is the back of the ventilator fan. So, uh, I know not much in the way of uh, progress, given the amount of uh, time that I had. But, um, of course, um, my uh, holidays from university are over. So, I, well, I would probably have the time, but I don't really have the patience to work on this. And, of course, the exciting part of getting this all to, uh, to go, to even do something, that's all done, and what's left is to uh, wire up everything, and of course that uh, that does require a lot of patience, and uh, you know, it's primarily work. It's it's not very exciting. So, yep. Anyway, there it is. A bit of an update on the JLH Class A amplifier. Thank you for watching, and see you again soon.